this is a, another uh, feeder or a water that can be used on a, uh, this type of welded wire caging. It's good and strong and supportive. This is a, uh, a full pint and can be used for water or a, feed, a feeder. And if the water freezes in it, they do pop out, so you can pop them out. Uh, you can use this on the inside of a cage, but again, you're getting inside the pen to feed and water it, and they like to claw on it, kick on it, and they might knock it off. Although, you know, it's, it, it's on there pretty good, you know, it, it's going to stay. But sometimes it also might work out well to have this on the outside of the pen, assuming the chickens are in here, and then basically you'd take some tin snips, cut that, cut that, cut right here, cut here, and cut here. So now this is all open, and basically if the chickens are in here, this is all open. They can stick their head through there and eat and drink, and they're not going to kick at it and knock the feeder out. Another method you could use if you have problems with them knocking the feeder out and you have the, feed, or the feeder water on the inside, you can, you can pre-drill a hole right here and take a screw and screw it in there and then screw it back out and then you clip it in and then just kind of screw it up tight so it snugs up to the base of this not going into the cup but snugs up to it so basically if they start jarring it around it's not going to pop off so that might be one easy way to do that then in order to clean the cup you've got to back it out so it'll slip off the cage. But though, that's two different ideas to use this type of cup. Same method of, again, this is a half pint cup, fits well on this type of welded wire. <clears throat> it could be used inside the pen or outside the pen. If you're going to use it on the outside of the pen um, and the chickens are in here, again, you could cut out a hole in your wire so the chicken's head can go out and eat and drink and they're not going to be able to, to knock the cup out. If you have a rooster <coughs> in your pen and you're going to use this as an outside feeder and water, the chickens are on this side, they've got to go through a hole to eat and drink, you may even want to go up a lot further for a rooster, especially in the uh, northern states where it gets really cold. By the time you take into account their wattles, their head, and their comb, it takes a pretty tall area for them to easily access the food and water uh, without hurting their combs and wattles on the cold wire. So again, these make some, uh, these are really designed just if you have one chicken in a coop. It's kind of a one rationing for them per day. So these cups can also be uh, purchased at Cackle Hatchery and work fine for uh, individually caged birds. Mm -hmm.